Oh, what a beautiful view from up above Monroe. We have a great sky shot for you from Drone 13. It has been a beautiful day today, great conditions. We even had a parade. Uh, we've had a lot of fun with all of our friends here in Monroe. And uh, we started at Prairie City, went over this way, and it has been an ideal afternoon. Just cannot be any happier weather-wise. And happy to meet new people. How y'all doing? Yeah. So uh, what grade are you guys all in? Six. 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 Sixth grade. It's a good class. And you're in, you're in sixth grade too. Yeah. yeah. These guys are, me, right? Yeah, I interviewed you over by the water. Did, did you guys actually go and spray each other? No. No, you didn't do that. We didn't want. I'm you soaked. You didn't go spray each other at the water thing? I'm soaked. You're soaked? Let's go home. No, I'm What's going on? What's going on behind me? What's going on? Hang on, hang on. What's going on behind here? What is this thing? I've seen. Hey, yo, let me get it. I've seen a dunk tank before, but I've never seen it. Okay, you guys are gonna throw. You're gonna throw a water balloon. Yeah, we'll get up here. Let my, let my photographer jump in here. Trent's going to go. This is how you do it in Monroe. Now, this is not the dunk tape, but this is like a water balloon. And that is our own, very own, Scott Sipker, who is the bullseye guy. Oop! Nice, nice throw. You're ready. Okay, go. Go for the throw. Oh, it fell apart. I think Scott did something with that balloon. He probably put a pin in a pinhole in it so that it wouldn't... Uh, Hit him. Oh, she got part of him. She got, oh. <laughs> oh, and now Keith. Keith Murphy is up and ready to go. Don't throw that arm out. Wow. Well, hi. He was a quarterback. He wasn't a baseball player. Uh, this is a, a great event. I love this. And this is also going to be for the charities tonight. This is what is so much fun for these small towns. Everybody A knows each other. Everybody has fun, and when Scott Sipker gets up in a bullseye, you got to take aim. Oh, he even make. Oh, good try, sweetheart. Let's show you what we have for our conditions out here tonight and the rest of tonight. <laughs> We're going to see an overnight low of 63. Temperatures are going to be warm again tomorrow. Back up to even warmer than what we had today. 85 will be our high. And our seven-day forecast is going to be really warm. By the end of the work week, we're going to see highs in the upper 80s to around 90 degrees. Temperatures are going to be very comfortable into the weekend. But you notice that rain on Saturday, that's part of a cold front. Showers and thunder showers are going to be, again, a part of this. I'm going to go over here to our table. This is where we have all the folks that are coming up. We had Carson King. We had Chad Alger, Alger, and then we have Brian Bannerkamp, John Sears, and Mark Freund at 6 to 620. They aren't up there yet. Oh, that's right. They're working. So we had Scott Sipker sick, sick, uh, sit in for them, but no Ed Wilson. Huh. Didn't ask Ed Wilson to be in the... Okay. I feel hurt. I feel hurt. Where does the money go to, guys? Uh, the Washington, D.C. trip for the 2024 classes of the 7th and 8th graders. 6th, no, 7th and 8th graders at PCM. Oh, that's great. That's great. Is it a band trip or is it just for a student trip? It's just a student trip. Oh, that is great. I'll tell you what, you guys all come together. I love Monroe. This, this is a bomb. We've really had a great time tonight, and I love that they're all here for it. Even these kiddos that are maybe going to be on a trip to D.C. one of these days. You got to have friends to lift you up. Just be careful. Don't drop them, okay? You got, you got each other, right? We're going to be back here again with sports in just a minute. Keith Murphy might show off his throwing skills here at the bullseye. Wind up that arm, Ed. I want to see you take a shot at Sip Gura. You got to get a, you got to get a throw in at some point. We'll check back I'll in with you I'll try to do it guys. very well at sports. You bet. <laughs> All right. It's a deal. Hey, still to come up next in sports, what Kirk Ferentz says it will take for his offense to put up more than just three points against the Cyclones.